Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. Hey, you have to go to don't know. Master Ace. You are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's your man Maloney in the place to be, Breaking Records Radio, and I got a very special guest on the phone with me right now. We got Lex, the Hex Master, in the place to be. What's up, y'all? What's up? How the fuck are y'all doing out there? Hey, we good, man. We real good. How you doing, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm ready for this motherfucking energy. We got caught in a crazy fucking thunderstorm, so it's still soaking wet, so, you know, get it done. Oh, say a word, eh? Yeah, I fucking, uh, last time we were in New York, actually, earlier this year, um, we went out to, uh, shoot a music video down, like, uh, Battery Park area, and ended up getting caught out in the pouring rain. Well, you got some videos, you, have, you guys ever heard of Real Wolf? Pardon? You ever heard of Real Wolf? Yeah, 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 Real Wolf's the homie, Tom. Yeah, 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 I did a couple times with him before and shit, I know he's come up that way, you know what I'm saying, so he's over, he's over in the city also. No. Oh no, shit! I didn't even realize. I, I should have figured you guys would know each other because he he you know just the pocket of music that you guys both do. But I never even uh, thought twice about that. What are you? What are you? Yeah, in, man. Uh, no, no, no. I'm still homie, man. Real good dude, man. Yeah, right. man. Those are those are the homies right there. Tom's a good friend of mine. Right. Yeah, man. How? Did, what? What have you guys worked on in the past? Uh, we did a track for one of his projects for the first one. Uh, we did a track called The X Kill. Um, it's me, him, it was me, Donnie Menace, and a couple other cats. Okay, um, yeah. We did, we did, we did another joint, uh, with me and another cat named Resnick from Czech Republic. Shout out to Resnick and his whole crew. Those are cool fucking dudes over there. Um, I did some other shit with him and Flatliners. Oh, okay, well. It was me, Flatliners, and Rusty Chips. Yeah, well, I've heard that shit too. I've heard that shit too. I and I'd never even, yeah. While prepping for this interview, I didn't even make the correlation in my head, but I heard that joint actually. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's gonna have to be a badass fucking record, man. Word. Yeah, shout man. Out to Lina, shout out to the motherfucking Rusty Jukes and the whole duck down. Word. Word up, man. Speaking of which, uh, you know, with the duck down, uh, that's actually how this interview came to be. I know we were just talking before we started the interview, but uh, you you'd caught uh, wind somehow of my interview with uh, Rock from uh, Helter Skelter, and um, you know opened a line of communication, and now here we are. Right, absolutely, man. That's, that's what brought me to you guys, and I didn't even know that you did business with so many people. Now I've done business with like Punk Vampire, like Twisted. You know what I'm saying? All those guys are family, man. All those guys are like brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Word. It's a small world, you know what I mean? It is, man. It's a small world. It's only only a matter of time and only right that this actually happened. And you know Tom, too. It's just crazy. It is a small world, man. For real. Right. Right. Small industry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From the fans' perspective, they think it's a big fucking thing, but it's actually a very small network of people who know each other and don't even realize they know each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's it's very true. Now that you know some dudes that I know, I'm like, all right, you are. If you know this cat, you must be all right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's very important, I say, too, for people to conduct their business properly because a lot of people look at it like kind of like you said, but from the outside looking in, it looks like this massive industry. But at the end of the day, everybody kind of knows each other or knows someone who knows the next person, you know what I mean? And word gets around fast, so that's why it's important for people to handle their business properly. Absolutely. Absolutely. For for artists, for everybody, you know what I'm saying? There's so many people that are... um, Say sorry. Uh, Jake Palumbo. Oh, word. Word. You, you, you know his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's real. He's real deep in the hip hop world. He does some, some fucking work with some massive guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm just still getting my feet wet. You know, like I'm out here, but it's still I'm still a small fish in a big fucking pond. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, man. But you definitely, you definitely since um, you know signing with M N E, you, you, your name has definitely uh, been ringing bells, though. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what? More than I know, man. Because I didn't know that a lot of dudes. Um, I was talking to this, this, this one fellow. I was asking some information about something. He's asking me this other dude. Well, I didn't even think whatever you fucking know me in a million years. And he's like, yeah, I know your name. I was like, everybody know your name. Yeah, man. You told me that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> your, name, your name's been ringing be bells. And the, the one thing I think, too, is that um, you have a very distinct name. Like, you have one of those names, like, once I seen it on paper, you know what I mean? I can't even remember which right. track years I heard first. It might have been a joint with you and Twisted on it. Or it might have... It was probably a joint with you and Twisted. And then I know I heard uh, you and the Real Wolf joint, right? And then over time, but right. it's just it's one of those things that, like, the first time I heard you, plus on record, you're distinct, but you got just such a distinct name. It's like, once you've heard of you, you don't forget you, you know what I mean? Opposed to some of these cats that got, like, what a, you know, Lil This or what a, you know, a lot of generic <laughs> rap names out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you got right. a very st- distinct name, so it's like, you know, once someone's heard of you, it's almost like one of those names they don't forget. Right. I, I, I guess it works in my favor, yeah. I mean, I always thought it was kind of wrong. I'm like, oh, man, my buddy's going to be so good to say that shit. But you're right, though. You, you, you may be third or fourth person of a professional stature who told me that shit. Yo, man, it's a good name, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit has a ring to it. You know what I mean? And then when the crowd is screaming the shit, like the heck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not bad. Yeah, how did... How did-